this is Salida, and I've got a question for you. What do diapers, ice cream, and LCD screens all have in common? They're all made with cellulose fibers from right here at Georgia Pacific's Foley Cellulose Mill. But just where do all these cellulose fibers come from? Trees. This mill produces a whopping 465,000 metric tons of cellulose a year. It takes specialized machinery and hundreds of skilled workers to make that happen. My friend Scott is going to show us how it all works. Hi, Scott. How are you doing? I'm good. There's a lot going on here today. Yes, we're going to give you a tour of the complete facility and, and tell you all about cellulose. Hold up. Let's dig a little deeper to take a closer look at exactly what cellulose is. It's made of very basic elements, water, carbon, and oxygen. But when you put them all together to form cellulose, they're greater than the sum of their parts. Think of this as the secret ingredient that makes wood so strong and versatile. It's found in every cell of every plant on Earth. To understand the process and see it in action, Scott's taking us straight to the top. So this is where it all starts. Yeah, that's our crane that we use to take the logs off of the log trucks. This bird's eye view will help us understand how such a tiny fiber like cellulose comes out of this giant operation. There are basically three steps. One, haul in pre-chipped wood or run logs through the chipper. Two, send it through a giant pressure cooker called the digester to cook the wood chips into pulp. Three, finally package up the cellulose and ship it off. To run an operation like this, they've got to stay organized, coordinated, and rely on math every step of the way. Let's take a closer look at what it takes to keep this facility running. Let's get into the nuts and bolts of cellulose production. Remember step one, we need to chop down the wood so it's in manageable chips. What's the easiest way to dump a load of wood chips? lift the entire truck. And the truck is lifted up and, the, and we pour the chips out into the pile. You just dump the whole truck. We just dump the whole truck, that's right. Next step, it's time to get cooking, literally. Once the digester processes the chips, they heat them up with steam at over 180 degrees Celsius. When the pulp's the consistency of oatmeal, it's the perfect time to remove the cellulose fibers. Okay, this is the brown stock after it leaves the digester. Whoa! Before it gets to bleach. This looks totally different than a tree! Well, that's all it is. It's the, that's what happens when you cook a chip. Okay, from here, we've got to make it turn white. So, let's go to the other washers. Okay, that's good. There's still a ton of moisture in the cellulose, so let's follow the white fluff to the drying area. The cellulose gets pressed flat and runs through the dryer, and that steams up the place. It's really hot, it's really hot yeah. right. 105 degrees Fahrenheit, to be exact. We've got something that resembles paper. They may call some of these giant rolls fluff, but they're anything but light and airy. Each roll weighs in at about 20 tons, and it's a logistical feat to package them up and ship them out of here. When they're done, they've got a white paper-like substance that can be used to make foods more moist and smooth, and materials like plastic and rubber stronger and more flexible. But to make this product and still turn a profit, Georgia Pacific has to balance many moving parts. Now I want you to explore some of the math behind running a business like this. Okay, so we've got our Georgia Pacific cellulose, and now it's ready to be incorporated into so many products all over the world. You're in the final stages of cellulose fiber production right here, shipping and logistics. Wow, and, and there's lots of different shapes. Yeah, as you've seen earlier, we rolled the pulp into a huge, what we call a jumbo roll. So we cut them down into bales, or we cut them down into smaller rolls, depending on what our client's product is. Wow, this is, this is so, so cool. It is. Thank you for sharing it. It's time to send our versatile cellulose off. It will travel by train, truck, or even ship all around the U.S. and across the world. Now you know what a 
it takes to bring cellulose to the market and all the different ways it can be used. So the next time you're watching TV or riding in a car, you'll know that the screen in front of you or the tires you're driving on might have started their journey here in a most unlikely way. Remember, keep your eyes open. The wonders of steam are all around you. And until then, stay curious.